So looking at how to really use Skedpal and what it is, uh, it's essentially a time management tool. It uses AI to help users schedule their tasks, optimize their calendars, and achieve their goals. It provides a dashboard to view daily schedule, upcoming tasks, and goals. Users can add tasks, customize settings, and drag and drop functionality to easily move tasks around their calendar. What I really do like about Skedpal is the fact that once you add in all of your tasks, all right, you can then update your schedule and then it would automatically appear in the designated hours that you are working. So let's say it's nine to five, which it is here. You can set all of your chapter readings um, and it would automatically schedule them based on the deadlines that you have set for each of those tasks. You can set a reoccurring tasks such as lunch, exercise, sleep. Um, and if you want to set a locked um, slot, you just basically go onto the actual calendar and just like Google Calendar, place in the, the things that you need to do. So let's, let's say church on, on Sunday. Uh, if you have a lot of tasks, um, you can actually extend a lot of your your tasks for up to I believe is up to 60 days which is quite a quite a few actually these all of my tasks here are just in relations to the the Netflix board exams that I'm I'll be taking in July but anyways I wanted to show you all the functionality of Skedpal uh, because I, I really do enjoy this app in comparison to a lot of the other ones so the other ones I would say um, there's motion motion is very similar to Skedpal actually motion does automatically um, places the, your, your tasks uh, in your calendar ahead of time uh, however I, I don't think that there's an actual button that says update schedule um, if, if there's like a conflict maybe it's possible um, I haven't used motion but I do know that it's much it's much more expensive than Skedpal in my opinion um, there's also notion which Thomas Frank uses uh, Thomas Frank is a big advocate for for the use of notion and, and it seems that it's it's very, it's very doable to use Notion, but however, I, I feel as though it has a lot of um, manual labor involved with the use of Notion. Um, there's Trevor AI, there's Reclaim.ai. I would say Reclaim.ai is the simplified version of Skidpal, in my opinion, because although you can schedule your tasks into the calendar and it would update on your, your calendar, there's, again, there's no update schedule button here. For example, let's click onto that because I, I did make some rearrangements to the, the calendar. So look, it, it actually, based on the conflicts that I had in the, in like for, for the earlier weeks, it actually updated my schedule based on potential conflicts that I may have. And if there's like too many tasks for a certain deadline, it would go into your suggestions box here and, and tell you that, hey, there's not enough um, time for you to actually do this one do you want to set a deadline that's later later than uh, what you currently have for for this task um, you can there's actually also a kanban or a kanban board here so let's say that you want to use this kind of style you can you know type in the task that you have put in anemia here all right and then you put in also another task here that you have as a priority but not as high um, I set this as high priority, intermediate priority, and low priority. Or, or just you can put in medium priority. I should probably just do that. Medium. Make it simplified for you. I know that there's so many more things you can do in Skedpal, but this is like the essentials for what I would use. Um, all, outline is really the place where you place all of your, your tasks. So for example, let's, let's say, let's try to do one. I have a lot over here, but basically, if I type in, let's say COPD, all right, COPD chapter reading, I will put in two hours, which it automatically highlights, and then I press enter. That's pretty much it. And then I would have to click onto this so that I can set a deadline and set a deadline for, you know, anytime later than, than Thursday. Or you can, you can do a set it for tomorrow, you know, and, and it will automatically, based on the priority, allow the, the schedule to, to place this COPD chapter reading um, for either today or tomorrow but since I already have this in my schedule let me delete this you can just delete it by either just checking it off or maybe there, there is an option here to delete there you go uh, let me delete this as well if you have big projects for example um, you can press enter oh, sorry let me actually let's complete let's do project again project enter tab so now 
you can set multiple subtasks for that project and set the, the deadline for each of those subtasks. And it will tell you um, that it is based off of your project. Like for example, one out of five, two out of five, three out of five, and then eventually you complete your project within a certain deadline. So it does work with your schedule. Um, as long as you follow your schedule, just try your best to follow your schedule. But if you can't follow your, follow your schedule and there's some conflicts, your, your calendar should be able to, to re-update based on what, what your conflicts are. So let's say, for example, you move cystic fibrosis here. Okay, you move it to Sunday. So now you'll see a pin over here on the right side. So if it's pinned, that means it cannot be moved. So if you update schedule, there's going to be a different task that goes on to Thursday right there. Cystic fibrosis will always stay at that location because once you move a task to a certain uh, time and date, it will be pinned. And that's great. That's convenient. Um, I know that the reoccurring tasks are set in stone, uh, but if you do want to, again, um, set a, uh, a time and date for a certain specific type of task, uh, you can and potentially <laughs> skip lunch like I am on, on the 17th. It's definitely very cool. Uh, I really like this app because I really believe that no no other apps can can really do it like this. And in the, in the, I would say this app is not that difficult in my opinion, although a lot of people say it is. But I think it's also because there's so many other things that you can do on this app that I probably do not know of. So again, if we kind of look into like, I guess, a study about the efficacy of SkidPal, the, it is kind of limited, but a small study was conducted by the developers of SkidPal that showed that users who do use the app saw an increase in productivity by 25% and reduced stress by 15%. It is best suited for individuals who really struggle with managing their time effectively and have a lot of tasks to complete. It is recommended to start by setting goals, adding tasks, and allowing SkidPal to suggest the best time to schedule them. Users can also uh, customize, so customizing the settings so that it really fit their preferences. So like for example, nine to five, okay, and then at a certain time, you can set it for exercise and then set time for sleep. This will automatically synchronize with your calendar, with your Google calendar, or with any calendar that you kind of wanna um, synchronize SkidPal with, but mostly SkidPal is, is compatible with a lot of the, the most popular applications out there. We talked about the comparison between SkidPal and the other applications. Um, some of those other applications I mentioned were, were no Motion, okay, and Notion, and Trevor AI, and Reclaim. I did try a lot of these applications before. Um, I know that uh, one one honorable mention is ClickUp. I think that if I haven't used SkidPal, I probably would have used ClickUp uh, because it's free. SkidPal is is not free, um, but it is cheaper than a lot of the other options out there. I think that if you were to, they, they have a free option, but they can only schedule your tasks up to, I believe three weeks or two weeks ahead of time. And then you can schedule up to maybe a few more weeks if you have the paid subscription. And that paid subscription is around I think it's around like $12 or $9. Um, SkidPal is around $9 per month, but um, with the subscription, you can schedule 60 days ahead of time. So it is worth the price, um, in my opinion. You can use all of the functionality of SkidPal. If you do have a referral um, and someone clicks on it, you can extend your free trial. There is a free trial for SkidPal, by the way. I think it is around like 15 days or 30 days. Um, but if you have a referral, you can extend it 30 days further. But I do like this app. I think I will probably stick to this app for a very, very long time, I would say. Um, and it seems that according to SkidPal, I contacted them uh, briefly. They mentioned that they would actually have another AI integration with SkidPal in regards to something similar to ChatGPT, where you are kind of typing down, let's say, let's say you type down a task like project and then you do a um, backslash AI or AI backslash and then you type in like give me a summary of this or that or, or this um, it might it might be that way uh, we're not sure exactly but it's in their roadmap right now so I'm excited to see that eventually and it seems that in my schedule I have other things to do right now so let me end this call
uh, I do want to thank you for to, for listening. But overall, I think that a lot of these tools out there has its own unique strengths and weaknesses. All right, so Skedpal is not. I'm not gonna say Skedpal is the best of of all out of all the applications out there, but I would say that it's the best for me. You know, users should really consider specific needs and preferences when choosing a productivity and time management tool that is really best suited to their their needs. Um, you can see here that on my left side there's Naplex, personal, work. So those are my top three like sections that I I would use. Uh, probably will delete Naplex as soon as I actually finish that examination. All right, but Naplex is probably going to be turned into YouTube so that I can actually um, you know contribute more to my YouTube channel than than before after I finish my board exams. But in the inbox, uh, I think that mo typically a lot of SkidPal users use inbox initially, and then we can transfer move that towards the outline. Um, in their designated section once once you finish your inbox because your inbox is something you kind of look at first um, and then you look at today which shows basically your your outline for for the day and then for the next seven days um, I don't like this I don't like looking at the next seven days like this I rather just look at the calendar so I can actually actually see all of my um, my time blocks I would say I'm I'm very much of a GTD kind of guy um, I like to time block a lot of my schedule but if if a program can schedule all of that for me automatically then great i know that for those who have a job and actually work on a daily basis you can just set those time blocks for for that you know for that day and then afterwards after that schedule you can set some time blocks for what you need to do outside of work but even during work people do use it as part of their really their schedule you know to to actually add in tasks that are in relation to their their career and using SkedPal while on the job to make sure they finish certain certain projects and, and whatnot. So definitely a big recommendation, a 10 out of 10 for me, um, but you all have a nice one.